Good afternoon. Good afternoon. My name is Jacob Meunier. Could you tell me your full name, please? My name is Tini Cho Yi Ting. Thank you. And can you tell me where you're from? Uh, I'm from Hong Kong. Thank you. Now, in this first part, I'd like to ask you some questions about yourself. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about television. How often do you watch television? Mm, I rarely watch television. Why not? Because uh, when I'm back home, it was pretty late, so I usually get online. Maybe watch YouTube. Sometime, yeah. Which television station do you watch, if you watch TV? Uh, Pearl, yeah. Pearl. And why do you watch Pearl? Because I like English drama. So like sometimes like for Monday, each Monday or each, uh, every Wednesday, they have different English drama. So if I have time and when I'm back home earlier, I have a chance to watch those. Do you enjoy the advertisements on television? Mm, some of them, quite interesting. And why? Uh, because some of the, the advertisements are quite um, inspi inspiring. Yeah, for example, like just, you know, like just 10 seconds or 15 seconds, you can think about something else which you normally won't think about that topic. Mm -hmm. Do you think most programs on television are good? Mm, it depends, yeah. Uh, for, of course, for the uh, peak hours, the, English, the programs might be better. But for, you know, like for midnight or early in the afternoon, they are not quite in good quality. <laughs> now let's talk about your neighbors here in Hong Kong. Okay. How well do you know the people who live next door to you? Luckily, I have my neighbors wh who, who is my best friend. She just moved in uh, to in my same building like a few months ago. How often do you see her? Uh, I guess nearly every day. <laughs> yeah. And why? Because uh, cause I live with my parents and she lives alone. So that's why like sometimes like le nearly every day I just go to her place and you know talk and then chit chat. What kinds of problems do people sometimes have with their neighbors in Hong Kong? Uh, I guess um, it's the problem that uh, people not willing, really willing to meet the neighbors or the strangers. Uh, for example, I know like in some Western countries, they will just when they just move in, they will go and meet the neighbors and greet and maybe give them some presents or have dinner together. But then for Hong Kong, I guess not so common. So I guess it's a little bit cold between among the neighborhood. How do you think neighbors can help each other? Mm, uh, sometimes, like when you know, like some, for example, if I have family, my kids, uh, uh, I have to go out for a while, and then maybe the neighbors can take care of my kids. Or like sometimes um, when I'm not around and not in, uh, I'm out of town, my neighbors can you know uh, take care and see if there's any uh, strangers get to my house. Mm -hmm. Now let's talk about flowers. Mm -hmm. Do you like to have flowers in your home? Um, I don't really got flowers in my home. Why not? Mm, because maybe I, I'm, a, I'm a lazy person, so I don't like, you know, changing flowers every week or every few days. Where would you go in Hong Kong to buy flowers? Flower market is the most popular place in Hong Kong for flowers. And why would you go there? Uh, why would I go there? Mm, because it's cheaper and I know it's fresh because every day they will have fresh flowers delivering to those markets. Mm -hmm. On what occasions would you give someone flowers? Mm, graduation or some celebration, for example, anniversary or um, celebrating something with my friends or families. Mm -hmm. Are flowers important in Chinese culture? Quite important. In different occasions, of course. Uh, for example, in weddings, of course, um, the, uh, they will have the, they will give each other some flowers, or in funerals, they will also give flowers, or in different uh, festivals, for example, Chinese New Year or uh, Mid Autumn Festival, they will also get different type of flowers, representing different festivals. Mm. Thank you.